my lovelies welcome to my channel my name is Megan if this is your first time here thanks very much for joining me and if you've been here before thanks for returning I thought I would share a little clothing haul with you today I know it's been a little while since I have done one of these um, but I basically haven't been getting any new clothes because I've been clearing out the ones I already had so now that I've gone through my wardrobe and s had a good look at what I already have, gotten rid of the things that I really just don't wear, and um, things that I had just had duplicates of that I wasn't wearing as much as I feel like clothes should be worn, because I don't want to have a whole lot of stuff in my wardrobe that I never wear, because that seems silly to me. Um, I'm slowly working on building my wardrobe back up to include more of the pieces that I do really, really want. So, I've got a little haul for you today from Simply B, and I want to say a massive, oh hello sunshine, a massive thank you to Simply B for giving me the chance to try them out. They've gifted me some clothes that I was able to pick out um, in order to let you know what the fit is like for their pieces. Um, now, let's go straight into it because I don't want this video to get too long, even though we all know it probably will, because I do like to talk a lot. Uh, first up, I have this beautiful Ponty Pinafore. Um, I really love this. I think the design is so, so cute. And I feel like this is the perfect layering piece for autumn winter. My plan is to wear this with a pair of stockings. Um, I probably won't wear it a lot over summer just because it's really a piece that I intend to layer and it is very hot where I live and very humid. Um, but this is a piece I've been after for a really long time. Um, I got this, I had a little bit of an ordering fail when I ordered this actually. Um, I ordered it in a size 28 but what I didn't realise was that I ordered a size US 28 and that is a... UK 32 I think if I have a look on the label um, that's way too big for me and I'm not sure if you can really tell looking at it on me but the feeling of the fit of it is that it is quite a bit too big so I did look to see if they still had some 28 UK sizes left but unfortunately they don't so I think what I'll do instead is just make a couple of alterations to this one so that it's a slightly better fit on me because they do really like the length um which is the other reason I don't want to send it back and size it down um I just think this is the perfect weight for layering it's not super super heavy like I've experienced with some Ponty fabrics um but it's still comfortable, it has plenty of stretch, and um, it doesn't feel like it's just going to fly up because it's super lightweight, which I've had with a few other items of clothing, and actually have experienced while walking along the road before. Um, so I really, really liked this piece. It has some other great benefits, like pockets, which I'm so here for. Um, I don't have that many dresses that have pockets in them, but I feel like this will get a lot of wear and I'm really stoked to not have to carry an extra bag with me. Um, so yeah, I got that in the wrong size. So I would have got that in a UK 28 had I had not stuffed that up. So the next piece I picked out was the Oasis Curve Leopard Print Jumper. You know I love a good piece of animal print. Um, I'm a big, big fan of this. As you can see, it is slightly cropped. Um, I bought it with the intention of wearing it layered underneath that pinafore dress and also wearing it tucked into skirts because I really like doing that over kind of autumn, winter. I think it looks cool with tights. Um, it's not really a style that I would wear with, say, with jeans or something like that. I would probably go for a more oversized style. Um, I find it really comfortable. I got the size 3XL and I wasn't... I was a little hesitant on fit, but I think it's perfect, um, and that is the biggest size that they do, which I think is about a 24, 26, around there, um, and it is really comfortable fit. Next piece I picked out was maybe a little seasonal. Um, they've got a really cool range of 
holiday t-shirts and holiday jumpers. I picked out the sequin reindeer tee. They've got quite a few um, sequined t-shirts. There was one I really really wanted that has a dinosaur on it but unfortunately it was way way too slow off the mark. Um, so if you do like this kind of style there are other ones in different patterns like I saw a flamingo, a penguin, um, the deer, the dinosaur. I'm not sure if there were other ones. Those are the four I remember. But they were really cute and I know that the dinosaur one got snapped up really fast and I have a suspicion this one is almost sold out as well. Because I live in New Zealand and I want to wear a Christmas jumper but it's just a little bit too warm so I can't. Um, so I thought that a Christmas tea it would be a nice in between and I'm just trying to find out what the size was that I got. I sized up for this one, I got a US 26, which is a UK 30, um, because I had read feedback that it was a little smaller fitting and I kind of wanted it to be a little loose on me because it's summer. Uh, the fabric's quite thin, so it is the perfect weight for summer weather. Uh, so yeah, I really like this. I've worn it a few times now, wore it while I was decorating my Christmas tree. You might have noticed in a recent vlog where I was up at my mum and dad's. The next thing I picked out was shoes. Now, I'm always really, really hesitant when ordering shoes online, but Simply Be has a really awesome selection of choos shoes to choose from, and including brands that I already have heard of, um, which I think is pretty cool. So I got these ones. They are a pair of Adidas, and I've worn them quite a lot, so they are a little bit dirty. Um, but I just got some charcoal grey ones. They've got some really, really cute uh, little rose gold-ish, very faintly rose gold detailing in the back. One thing I really liked about these though, so this is a cloud foam style. Um, they're called the Daily QT sneakers. I'll leave a link to everything below. Um, but I'll just pull out the insert. So it's easy to put an orthotic insert in there, which is really important for me because they do have orthotic inserts. Um, but also, this is real comfortable. So even if you're not wearing orthotic inserts, um, oh, it's, I know why it's called the cloud foam, because it's like walking on clouds. It's really soft, it's really comfortable, and I can wear these all day. I really, really like these. Super impressed. This is my first pair of Adidas shoes. No, because I'm pretty sure I had some vintage ones left from like the 70s from my mum. Um, so this is my first pair of modern Adidas shoes. Technology has changed a little bit. So I'm not too sure how sizing works on these. Um, I'm usually a US 8 or a UK 6. And I got these in a UK 6, but it says it's a US 7.5. So... I'm not sure quite how Adidas' sizing works, if they are for some reason a little bit different, but it works, they fit, they're comfortable, um, they are really really nice to wear. And the last piece I picked out to complete my outfit, I wanted to grab an accessory just so that I could have a look at what the quality of their accessories were like, and I was really really impressed with this one. I got a studded saddlebag, how cute is this? Um, and one of the reasons that drew me to it, obviously, apart from the fact that it's a really, really cute design and a super cute colour, um, and it comes in a chain, a little strap there, um, one of the things that I really liked about it was that it has heaps and heaps of room inside. Um, so there is a one zip pocket at the back, uh, free access pocket there, another zip pocket in the middle, another space here to put stuff, and then an open pocket on the side. So there's heaps and heaps of room in there. You can divide your bag up however you, I don't know, however you want to divide it up. I was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't quite long enough to be a crossbody, but I think that's pretty common actually in bags. I mean, I could probably wear it as a crossbody. It would just be really short like really really short so I could still probably do that if it was necessary if I was like in a festival or something um but I actually don't know if I'd take this to a festival I don't know I'm not really a festival kind of girl so probably not the best example to use but it is really cute 
I really like it. It's really comfortable to carry around and I just really love that studded detail. It feels really, really nice. And I think it, it feels really well made. And this is, by the way, um, uh, not made from leather. There was one other piece that I got that I really just wanted to give you a bit of feedback about. Um, I can't show you what it looks like on me because it doesn't fit me properly. Um, it is the pair of, I think they were called Miracle Shorts. They're a tailored pair of shorts, which are kind of hard to show you because it's just plain black. Um, but it's, you know, like suit pant kind of things. It's got a non-stretch front and then the back is elasticized just in the sides um, and I sized up in these a little bit partly because I'm always really paranoid about trousers not fitting me properly but also because I looked at the sizing chart and it looked quite small um, and I got these because I really like the idea of having a really smart pair of uh, shorts in summer um, with pockets that are like suit pants but short um unfortunately i could get them on my legs but i couldn't get them over my hips and stomach it was just not happening um and by the way i got these in a us 26 or a uk 30 um didn't even come close to fitting me uh, my mum tried it on she's usually like in new zealand or uk 22 maybe 24 and they were an absolute no-go for her as well um just super tight across her hips and stomach so that's kind of a something to be aware of if you are buying the miracle miracle i think it's called that because they have like mesh to suck it in a bit i guess at the front i don't know um, but I'll leave a link to that below. I just wanted to mention it just in case anyone's looking at that specific brand. It does run a bit small. Um, I got, I think I got the biggest size that they have. Um, even though I sized up, so I don't think I'd be able to size up anymore. Um, which is unfortunate because I would have liked to be able to try on further sizes to see how much you would need to size up. So shipping is pretty good. Mine turned up in like three or four days. I got the express shipping, um, but regular shipping, so regular shipping is £9.99 and that takes like five to 10 business days. Express shipping is £19.99 and that is uh, three to eight business days. Um, those prices I think are pretty standard. I don't mind paying a little bit more if I need it faster but to be honest there's not usually an occasion where I would need to get it super fast um, because I guess I would usually just be super prepared um, which I think is something that you get used to as a plus size person. Um, in terms of quality I think that everything was pretty good for the price of the garments. Um, it's not like designer quality apart from obviously the editor shoes um and it's not super super cheap quality so i think it's a nice in between um the prices on the website vary i have looked at a whole bunch of stuff that is like from all categories um like i had a real thorough look on that website um and so they have a really good range of stuff and then they also have a good range of prices as well. So they've got a really good size range as well. Um, I'll leave links to the website below and I'll also leave a link to my blog where you'll be able to see a little bit better what some of the things look like on me all styled together because the idea was that I pick out an outfit and style it to show you what it looks like. So I've done that. Make sure you check it out. Let me know if you've ever shopped with Simply Be before. Um, I definitely will be shopping with them again and this time spending my own money so I will let you know when I have a haul for that one. Um, until next time thank you so much for joining me and I will see you later. Bye lovelies.